Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor of Rock Valley Christian Church. So glad that you're joining me today for this time of prayer as we look at Genesis chapter 28, verses 20 to 22, which say, Then Jacob made a vow saying, If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I am going and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on so that I come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set as a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. And what amazes me about these verses is that Jacob is actually saying, God, if you will be my God, I will make you my partner. And basically what I desire of you is for your help, your strength, and your blessing. And I commit myself to you as a partner to give you a tenth of all which you bless me. Now this is one of the great keys of life, that we not only see God as the one that we come to worship at church or that we pray to in the morning or read of his word in the evening, but that we take God to work with us and that we realize that God wants to be our God in all things and that we can cast our cares upon him and look to him for his help and his blessing. But what even goes beyond that is as we read in these verses, Jacob made the decision to make God his business partner. What a partner to have. No one is more connected than God. No one has more wisdom than God. And no one can help you in all that you do more than God. So what a way to start our day in this time of prayer. Let's ask God to help us, to bless us, to be our business partner, to have our back when we go to work, to give us wisdom, to give us guidance, to give us creative thoughts, that we may do the things that he's called us to do in our jobs and our employment and what we do this day with his blessing, with his help, with his partnership. Let's pray.